Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install VMware Workstation Pro 14. So to start off, go on over to the link in the description. We have a link to the download, and you're going to click on the Download Now button. This will get a... it'll download a bundle file. I already actually have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this. But uh, once you get it downloaded, need to go and I'm going to drag this to the desktop really quick. And you pretty much just need to click on it, click properties, select permissions, and then check the box that says allow program executing as a file. Then you need to click open. Now it's going to tell you that uh, this is an executable text file and all of that and it needs uh, main root permissions to run it. So if you run it like that, you can't do it. Uh, just to show you what it says. What you should do is click in open in terminal do ls sudo dash s and then just do dot slash VMware It'll instruct the installer. It's gonna take a little bit of time to start up, but once it does, you'll see the installation window up here. So here is the installation window. You've got to go through and you've got to read this, if anybody actually does read it, and accept the terms. Then you click Next, and there's another EULA. You've gotta read that too. Next again. And then it'll ask you if you wanna check for product updates at startup. Personally, I think these are annoying, but if you're paying for this and you need to check out what the latest features are, what you're getting for your money, I would keep it on, but I'm going to turn it off. And then it'll ask you about some more customer service stuff. Again, I don't need that, but if you do, it's good to leave on. Uh, this part's important. It'll automatically detect the user that you should be using with it, but if you haven't done it or you want to have it with a special user, you should erase this write in your special user and then just click the next button it'll install in var lib slash shared vms it'll assign the port click next now this part you can enter later because we're talking about the trial version right now this is the evaluation copy you will have to enter a product key at some point though so but if you have paid for it you can enter the license key at this point point. and you just click the installed button and it will copy the files where it needs to go So the installation is successful, so we can go to the menu here and search for VMware. And we can open up the VMware Workstation tool, click the close button here, close the terminal as well, and let VMware open up. So this is going to ask, like I said, it's going to ask for a license key. Just click the try button if you want to try it out, then select the OK button, enter your password and uh, you will have the evaluation copy for VMware Workstation, the latest version for Linux. Please check the description below because I go over how to create virtual machines in the article and uh, it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to get that working. So please check that out. In the meantime, guys, I'm gonna get going, but I will see you in the next video.